this is part two of the fruit paint assignment or fruit paint exercise. You have a white background, the photo that you imported that is hidden, and then a tracing layer that you chose um, something from your drawing utensils. Uh, so now you're going to go ahead and put color in this and you can choose to have your lines show or you can um, get rid of the lines when you're done. This is kind of a up to you. Um, also how you do the color inside of the fruit painting is up to you as well, but I will give you the technique to actually sample the color from the original photo. And to do this, you need to kind of do a little game of hiding layers, so revealing and hiding layers from yourself. Uh, you'll hear me say that I'm toggling visibility. What I mean is I'm checking these boxes on and off to see, to reveal to myself what's on the um, document, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle the visibility for the actual photo. I'm going to take my eyedropper, or it's called the eye picker tool here in Pixlr, and I'm going to sample the red from the cherry. Now to really do that accurately, I probably wanna take up the transparency on this layer first. So I'm gonna hit my ellipses here. Kind of been delaying. There we go. <laughs> take up the transparency so I can get the full red that the cherry was. Grab my color picker and drop it where my first color is going to be. Get some more around here. Okay. Um, so this is the color that I'm going to start with. It's a little light here. It kind of gave me something, it read something a little lighter. What's nice here is that it also kind of gives you shades, so darker and lighter, um, gives you some color solutions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and actually kind of bring it up, make it a little more vibrant, pull it down a little bit. And now I'm going to go click on my tracing layer so that I can make a layer above it. And I'm going to press the plus symbol. I'm going to put another empty layer. And this one I'm going to call color or paint. However you label it, that makes the most sense to you. So I'm going to say color. So I know there's tracing on one layer and color on another. Now in the end, like I said, you might want your line work to show. You can do um, that by simply dragging the order, the stacking order of the layers so the line work would be above your color eventually. Um, you can get rid of it, you can mer merge them together. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. But for now, just keep it all separate and color on top of your tracing. Um, again, if you lose too many of your lines, like I said, um, well actually maybe now we'll just rearrange. So let's put our tracing on top of our color and that way as we're painting, we can still see our line work. We're not going to cover it up. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the brush tool. I was on draw, this is brush. And here you see I have some options as well. So um, I can pick from all these different tools I have here. Um, actually for the painting, what blends the most are these really soft ones down here. So I'm going to start here, a smaller one that is soft and kind of blends well. And then as I move on to more detailing, I can get one that is harder and more defined. Actually, probably should do a little bigger than that. Let's go up to 50. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start painting, okay? Again, oh, already made a mistake. I have to be on the color image. So make sure that you're on the color, not tracing. Okay, and then just go ahead and start painting in. You can see the color is a little different than the one underneath, but that's okay. There's going to be some digital adjustment, okay? Um, if you want to change it, you know, if you wanted to get it more cherry red or something like that, you might slide it down a little bit towards the pink, move it towards here. You always got to press OK so it changes for you. There we go. That's a little more cherry red, so I'm going to paint that on top. Okay. 
Um, so I'm kind of going for these darker red areas right now. You can see that there's kind of a darker red and then there's a lighter red down below. So I'm going to just start with that darker one. Again, if I want to really see my work without the image underneath, all I've got to do is toggle the visibility of that. And you can see, oh, there's some gaps. I don't really love those, so I want to kind of paint that more thoroughly. Okay, I'm kind of leaving the highlight out. Again, I can also talk about the visibility of the tracing, and that's going to give me a completely different look as well. Okay. Now, if you just want to kind of smudge and blend it a little bit more, that is what these tools are for. So this is a blur tool, blur, sharpen, and smudge. And it kind of works like rubbing your, you know, a towel or a cloth or kind of rubbing your finger over the document. Let me go ahead and get that. So it's blur or smudge would work as well. Again, it works a lot like the brushes. So you can toggle the strength. Let me try to get rid of that pop-up real quick so you can see it better. No, it's not working with me. Um, but here, this is how much smudging. You probably want to keep it lower at first. Um, and then the size of the smudge. So let me go ahead and, oh yeah, that's a pretty heavy smudge. So maybe less than that. You can see it kind of blending. It does start to reveal some of the background too. So again, this is something you kind of want to do at the final stages of the document. I personally wouldn't be smudging any of this yet. I would kind of paint it and then do it to blend it out. So let's go back to that. Let's do a little bit more. Um, so as you can see, there was a little bit of a different color there. And I'm going to go ahead and drop her into it. And go back to my brush and paint. And that kind of covers some of the stuff that was not as good. Let me fill this in. So I'm just, again, this is pretty straightforward what you do with this. Um, so I'm going to leave it here in a second, but I'll actually go in and do the highlight real quick. So again, dropper, kind of give you a basic version of how to do this. Okay, so let's say for this first cherry here and maybe just a little highlight here too. Oop, that was too far. Just a smidge up there. I'm going to take off the photo image underneath. Again, go back and kind of clean it up. I'm going to drop her that color right there. Good, kind of clean it up. And then I'm going to decide at this point if I want to keep the outlines or if I want to just blend them in to the painted color or go without them. So let me take the tracing off. Now imagine that this whole entire thing was painted. Um, I'm gonna take a second, grab the smudger, make it small. So sometimes I kind of take a second and look and see if, look at a couple different versions. So I'm gonna go ahead and softly kind of smudge the edge here. Probably need it a little bit bigger than that. Strength, pull that up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead, kind of smudging the edges here so it blends and blending here. I think I like it actually with the outline, so I'm going to bring that back. Um, I think it's just cleaner. And then I can actually smudge the outline into the painting. So to do that, I'm gonna actually, so pretend that this entire thing is painted, it's complete. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. So I'm gonna merge down one. Okay, so now the tracing and the color are together. You can relabel that if you want. Um, eventually too, before I export this, I do need to discard, at least, when I export it, it needs to, the visibility needs to be off. Um, I can also, if I'm really done, I will end up discarding this layer. So I will throw away this layer. Um, but mainly just have the visibility off when you export it as a JPEG. That's the most important. Um, I have combined the tracing layer with the color layer. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of smudge them together. 
so that the outline doesn't feel so heavy. Okay. And then I could ask, actually go in with some colored brushes and maybe do some white outlines with the dark ones, that sort of thing. Okay. But I do think for my final product, I will have the outlined, or the, the line drawing as well. And maybe, and I can even go over these up here and do lighter lines rather than darker ones. Okay, when it's all complete, all you need to do to submit it to the assignment portal, um, to put it in Canvas and put it in your Google Drive, is to go File, Export, and then do a quick export image as PNG. That would be fine. Um, also, do make sure to keep it into the um, cloud and Pixel as well. Give it a heart, and then you can work on this document over and over. And that is all.